We're gonna scoop out our ice cream, take it to the stone, throw it to Jared. And there was a misunderstanding and they actually wanted a birthday cake remix. So Jared's gonna throw that back to me. And then I'm gonna add fudge, sprinkles, and then a brownie. Now it's time to chop, chop, fold, fold that all together. Once that's been chopped and folded, we're gonna hug that up into a ball and then I'm gonna throw it back to Jared. Our menu boards can be a little confusing sometimes, but now it's time to help our next customer. They decided on cake batter ice cream. You've never seen two men make a purse. Leatherworking is never something I was particularly interested in, but it is one of the many reasons why I decided to move home and quit my job. I've missed my family a lot over these last six years, and with both sets of my grandparents still being alive, I figured it would be smart to go home and spend some time with them. Plus, my grandpa always loves to remind me that every year he's at over 70 is just a blessing, and that one day he will die, and when that day comes, all of these leatherworking tools will be mine, so I probably should learn how to use them. I figured as I was learning, it'd be fun to make a video not only for me to reflect on in the future and for my family to cherish forever, but it might be kind of cool for you guys to see what we made. His style is definitely different than what I would do. He's more old school and likes that western style, but at the end of the day, all the basics are the same. It's exciting to add another hobby to the list of random things that I do, but I'll cherish these moments forever. And surprise, this is actually a tote, so you can still say,